we can go back through and take a look at those at the end. So Alfonso, if you want to start sharing your screen, you can uh, take it from here. Thank you. So actually, I'm going to share the whole desktop. You should be seeing like some slides and a terminal. Yep. Plenty of things. Cool. Yep. Great. So what I want to present today is the new, after Madeira, we had a bunch of conversations with a lot of folks on, on how sharding should look like in Falcon. And this is the architecture that we have agreed on for now, <laughs> at least, which is like, if we want to start a new subnet, we don't call them shards anymore. I should like change this. Um, if we want to start a new subnet, we have like the root chain that can be like the current Falcon mainnet. And in order to give as much flexibility as possible to the um, users that want to deploy new subnets, um, we have this subnet uh, coordinator actor, which is the one that enforces the hierarchical consensus. And then we have the, I mean, whenever someone wants to deploy a new subnet, what they do is deploy an actor that handles all of the specific logic that you may want to have in that subnet, like the consensus of algorithm that you want to use, the collateral, uh, that you want to put in order to join the subnets and a lot of other things. Uh, so th this new architecture, the, the, the goal is to give as much flexibility as possible for subnets and what in enforces the hierarchical consensus protocol and the way in which like subnets interact with each other and so on. It's through this coordinator actor, which is the, it's a system actor that we already have in, in Eureka and in our implementation. And this is what I'm gonna show today, uh, a quick demo of this new architecture and also like something that we shipped last week, which is checkpointing to the parent chain. Because in the way that like subnets uh, leverage the security of their parent, if you remember like from my previous uh, demo, like this is kind of how it looks, the hierarchical consensus where you can start a subnet from any network and like, child subnets leverage the, the security of the parent subnets and, and they interact with, with them through a set of checkpoints that include like cross shard message and some, some verifications so that uh, anyone that um, checks like this network can leverage the security and check that the security is correct and the history is consistent. And I guess that you can see, let me know if like it's too small for you, but here you should be, Actually, maybe let's do this. You should be seeing my terminal, and uh, we have all of this implemented in Eudico. I'm going to start running um, two nodes to see all of this in action. Right, so I have two nodes, I'm going to connect them to each other. And I'm gonna start mining. Like I'm gonna start mining in the root chain. Like in order to make it easier uh, in the root chain, like we don't have the Falcon expected consensus, but we have what we call a delegated consensus, which is a, a like debug consensus where uh, a single miner mines all of the blocks to make it faster. So right now, like we have this root chain, nothing special. Like we could interact with root chain with this root chain, and that's it. We're gonna we're gonna do first is to deploy a new subnet that uh, a child subnet over this um, over this root chain and um, whoops, sorry because in Eureka we added like a bunch of, of uh, I think I showed this like in the previous um, in the previous demo day like we have a few comments to add a new subnet to join the subnet to list the subnet to start mining in a subnet leave it kill it and then this new one with which is the checkpoint which allows you to do a bunch of things with checkpoints from the child chain. Um, so we, we're gonna add a first subnet. We put a random name and we say that we wanna start this subnet from root and with a specific consensus. Right now we only support two consensus algorithms in subnets, which is a simple proof of work and this delegated consensus. And this, what it's doing is deploying uh, the actor that handles all of the logic of the subnet. Right now we have like these reference implementations, but in the, like once FBN comes, hopefully anyone would be able to implement the subnet interface and like handle their own logic. Here we see that uh, we have deployed the actor with this, um, in this address and like the address of the, of the actor that handles the subnet defines the, the address for the subnet. So now like 
up to now, the only thing that we have is an actor. We could like start mining the, that um, that subnet, but it makes no sense because it would be an independent chain. If we want to register the subnet as part of the hierarchical consensus, what we have to put is some collateral in the coordinate tractor. So what we do is uh, we have this subnet at um, command that uh, sorry, join subnet join. And we say that we want to join like uh, from this address, this subnet, put in two file coins of collateral. Uh, right, this is not my address. But what we're doing here is like just putting to um, five coins of collateral so that we have over the threshold of collateral in the coordinate tractor and we can register it so that we can start interacting um, with other subnets from this child subnet. So if we look here, like if we list the subnets, we can see that the subnet is now active with this ID and it has two five coins of collateral. Um, we could even like join, let's join from the other, also from the other node so that we can see how we mine and sync uh, both chains in the, at the same time. So in this case, I need to import some wallet and we're gonna also join with two Falcons. No, wait. So it's waiting for the message to be final. And now like if we list the subnets, we see that now we have four of collateral and the status is active. So we're gonna start mining from one of the, I said that these subnets is a proof of work. We can start mining from one of the, of the nodes and we'll see that we're gonna, so if I stop mining in the root chain, we see that we are mining in also in the subnet. So right now we are only mining in the subnet and if I start the root chain, we are mining in two different chains. Um, oh, another interesting thing is that when we start mining in the, in the subnet chain, we start like periodically. Uh, I mean, by default, we have a check period of, of 10 epochs. So every 10 epochs, we, we will be committing from the tile subnet um, a checkpoint in the parent chain, in this case, the root chain. And we can list like the checkpoints that are being periodically um, uh, committed in the parent chain from the subnets with these list checkpoints. We see that every 10 epochs, we are we have we have a chain of, of checkpoints and like we add some information about the tip set uh, in the subnet and so on, and we commit it in the parent chain so that anyone can validate it. So at one point, like we could use like this checkpoint validate command uh, and uh, validate the checkpoint for a specific epoch. What this will do is like take the checkpoint from the parent chain, check the subnet chain, and see that the that is consistent with the tip sets that, that were committed in the parent chain, and so on. And we see that uh, again, like we could change this check period, but like uh, if we list the checkpoints, we see that the every ten epochs we are committing a new checkpoint, and these checkpoints are are, are signed by a majority of miners. And as I'm running out of time, I think I have like one minute. Let's leave. Uh, the, we can also leave um, a subnet. Uh, let's leave it from one of the miners. We can also um, interact directly with and, and send um, uh, comments to the to a specific subnet. So, for instance, we can list the file that we have here. Uh, as we haven't like sent any funds yet to this subnet for this address, we have zero file coins. And if we see in the root chain, if the root chain uh, we have some falcons, so we see that we have independent states. Also, right now we only support like inter subnet uh, transactions. So the cross chain transactions is what we are uh, implementing right now. But it should be, I mean, hopefully before or after Christmas we will have a, a demo of uh, transactions that got, are going through subnets uh, and cross uh, net transactions. Um, right, so we saw that here, like we're still uh, committing checkpoints as long as, as we mine. So, oh, of course, like I left from this miner, we need to check it from here. 
we are still coming to checkpoints as long as, as at least there is one miner and we are mining in the subnet. Uh, if we check like the subnet, we see that the collateral re is reduced because one, once a miner leaves the checkpoint, it, it recovers its, its, as long as it hasn't been slashed, which right now it can't be slashed because we don't have fraud proofs. It can recover its stake and its collateral. And if we leave, um, if at some point we leave, all of the miners leave or, or um, majority of, of miners leave the, um, the subnet, what it will happen is that the subnet will be inactivated which means that as there's no enough collateral, there can't be like checkpoints cannot be committed in the parent chain and it cannot interact like the subnet cannot interact with the rest of the networks in the subchain. And I ran out of time, but I just want to run one last comment to show like how the network has been inactivated and it starts, I mean, it stops like interacting with the rest of the hierarchy because it doesn't have enough collateral. Thank you. Perfect.